Hey everyone, yes it's been a long time since I've ranted, but after seeing things online today, I decided to dust off the old webcam and give it yet another shot. Today, Frank's going to rant about how people handle 9-11. You know, it's funny how over the past 13 years, 9-11 has basically started to slip into the back seat a little more every year, a little more. Less and less people tend to turn out for events, things like that. Uh, take seven, maybe seven years ago, six years ago, you looked online and on Facebook and that, people were still posting things about 9-11. You know, remembering first responders, remembering 9-11, and thanking, you know, first responders for the work they do. Now it's something totally different. I mean, here we are down the road a few years now. I mean, like I said, it's been 13 years. And I look through what people are posting on Facebook today. And they're posting stuff today bitching about not being able to look like a freak at work and wear huge spacers in their ears so they could be called deputy droopy ears. Or they bitch over their company's policy not allowing them to wear pink hair or freaky, freaky hair and everything because they want them to look professional. Or even the post about how a professional athlete only left 20 cent tips. And this was like a major news thing. Like, I really give a freaking rat's ass that some overpaid athlete left 20 cents. So he's a friggin' sheeny. Or the stories about Kelly Ripper cracking dick jokes. Wow! That's something to remember today. And then, of course, all the commercial ads on Facebook, you know, the things about trying some new friggin' chicken sandwich today. Make sure you run out today and get your chicken sandwich while you're out and about at a memorial somewhere. But you know, the biggest story on the net that really yanks my chain, okay, and this is the major networks, the magazines, and even people, all the yam bags out there that all they're doing all over the net is still talking about the friggin' iPhone 6. Really? For just one friggin' day, you people can't pop a squat on a story about your anticipation for wanting one of these stupid phones? Are our lives that friggin' self-absorbed with technology that we can't even make a comment about remembrance and instead have to comment about the stupid crap about, I can't wait to get the new iPhone! Wow! Or, wow, look, Verizon's giving free iPhones. You know, or, I'm tired of the iPhone I just got last year. It's so old now. I have to get a new one. I can't wait. Really? I, mean, I know we all post stupid shit on here, and trust me, Many of you will say this. I post them my more than my fair share. But seriously, this all goes along with what I've said in the past, that we once again as a nation have many people who don't really care about things like national holidays like the 4th of July or, you know, things like remembering 9-11. There are just shit tons of people who don't care. I bet you there's a lot of people that if they didn't happen to turn on the radio and hear something about it, would even remember about today. And yes, I know it will eventually die off into the background, just like Vietnam did, Pearl Harbor, Korean War, World War II, even things like Desert Storm faded, or faded away. Remember Desert Storm? I bet you a large majority of people couldn't even tell you around what year that even happened. And we lost people during that. But that's just how history is. I face it. I mean, many of us were born before Vietnam ended. And by the time we learned about it in school, it was already over for something like 10 years. You know, and the war itself, or the actual police action, started like 25 years prior. I mean, same thing, you know, with my little ones in school. By the time they learn about what really happened on 9-11 in detail, it'd be something like the 18th anniversary. So it would be ancient history to them. I understand that. But, I mean, for us adults, is it really that long ago? You know? But still, the friggin' iPhone?! Really? Touche, Apple. 
for touching our lives so much that we care more about your stupid freaking iPhone that you keep cramming down mindless, our mindless generation's throat every year. All these people, oh, can't wait for the iPhone! Oh, I'm going to kill myself if I can't get a new iPhone! You know, all these people that stand online for this stuff. Save it for just one day. Just one day. Forget about the friggin' iPhone. How about today we actually take time to remember all the civilian lives lost. Remember all the first responders' lives lost. You know, and, and not only them. And I'll admit I forgot about this too. The people that actually lost their lives in the first attack. Back in 93, when that bomb went off downstairs in the towers, in the garage. I believe six people lost their lives that day. You never hear anything about that. You know, like two years later, that was a uh, god news, old news. Okay? Remember all these people. And remember to thank all those current first responders be it us firefighters or EMTs or police, etc. We're all willing to put our lives on the line every day, regardless of incident, regardless of pay, whether you're paying, getting paid or not, so that everyone else can have a little safety and security in their lives. Remember, it's not about money. You don't see first responders on strike and walking off the job because they feel they aren't getting paid enough. Yes, they may feel they're not getting paid enough, but when was the last time, unlike other professions out there, do you turn on the news and hear, it's the fall again, on strike again, want more money, don't want to pay for benefits, things like that. And you don't see us volunteers, first responders, walking away from a scene or not responding at all because we're volunteers. We don't get paid at all to do it and risk our lives. We do it because we love to do it. You know, your heart has to be in it, especially to be risking your life, be it for money or for no money. All of us volunteers do it for you. Same thing with the paid first responders. We do it for you, the people. Remember, volunteers don't get anything out of it at all. Heck, in many communities, volunteer first responders don't even get much recognition for the work they do or support. With that being said, remember all the first responders today, the ones that have lost their lives, the ones that are still around, whether they're getting paid or they're volunteers like me. Remember everyone who has gone, those no longer with us, those that are still remaining, because all first responders are in it until the end. And guess what? Being that there'll never be an end to emergencies out there and fires and things like that, Public can sleep knowing that there's always going to be a first responder somewhere out there that has your family's safety as a priority. So remember that today. Stay safe, everyone. Birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, birthday card.